It was a breezy spring evening in San Diego on April 8, 2007. A parade of sports cars, town cars, and taxis pulled up to a Spanish-style La Jolla Beach house on Coast Boulevard. One by one, the cars discharged their casually dressed passengers. These 12 men were the top internet marketing gurus in the world. Between them, they held sway over 30 million email addresses of hopeful online entrepreneurs. These internet marketing gurus had come together for a meeting that was as rare as it was secretive. On the meeting agenda was a single item, how to jointly control and monopolize the entire marketplace of people looking to make a go of it online. A long, blonde-haired man with a surfer dude look was playing host for this meeting at his private La Jolla beach house. We'll call him Mr. K to protect the innocent. Mr. K's beach house was perched precariously on the cliffs of the Pacific coast. The ocean waves hissed in the background. This self-appointed godfather of the guru syndicate greeted each of the men as they entered. He was a bit anxious, but utterly confident about the plan he and a few other internet marketing gurus had hatched to extract every dollar possible from that hopeful list of 30 million people. Hyped up they get, the more excited, and the more it's a team working together, it, it's fantastic. Yeah, well, I mean, that's, you create the syndicate. I mean, that's one of Frank's favorite words. You know, you, if you get in the guitar, the learn guitar market, these guys are all, like what happened is, in the, in the learn guitar market, one of those guys bought my course. And he just had a great launch, and he, he really did well. So he went to all the other people in that market, and he got them to buy product launch for me through his affiliate link. So, <laughs> <laughs> so, but he got them all trained, and now they're all working to, together. And so literally every week, one of those guys is doing a launch, and they're all cross-promoting. And they've really they've built a market and it just exploded the value of that market through these techniques and by creating that, that JV syndicate within it. Yeah what's going on is this whole syndicate building aspect where it's no longer about just getting the prospect to buy stuff but it's about going into your market and organizing your market and even really they've built a market and it just exploded the value of that market <laughs> <laughs> self-esteem success chance is the conclusion that you want your prospect to have which says well these guys are smart and I'm retarded oh, actually that's not the exact one but let's say they have that conclusion a these guys are smart I'm retarded I can't do it but if I could just do one-tenth as much as they do then this would definitely be worth it right you ever had that rationalization in your mind, like, well, I'm over here telling you about doing $10 million and whatever a day, you know, 360 grand in nine minutes and all that kind of stuff. I mean, you ever think to yourself, well, Jesus, if I could just do like a little bit of that, I would be stoked. Not to say you guys all have low self-esteem, although every single person in the world does, um, which you should be happy about because you can prey on it like an evil. Never mind. Um, anyway, um, so that's what you want, right? Prey on it like an evil. Pray on it like an evil. And pray on it like an evil. <laughs> Tony Robbins. He sells out stadiums around the world. He's helped over 50 million people and advised the world's most influential leaders. If you've ever wondered what his secret is to helping people. Frank Kern. Frank Kern. You've got to form this type of syndicate. This is Colin, by the way. Hi. Colin, Colin you know, get older, right? Hi, right, Derek. 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 Nice to meet you. Amy, Amy. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah. I had someone walk up to me and say, you know, I've been studying and following these internet marketing guys for a long time. And once I saw Tony got behind him, I knew it was real because I didn't know what to trust. What I would do on the sales page is I would just do the high integrity, get them with some heavy stats mm -hmm. about, you know, bring them down first. Get them feeling a little bit miserable and say, I have the answer, and I know because it worked for me. That's so I'm cool. giving you my sales pitch right now, like but uh, Tony can borrow it. He <laughs> forks over a few bucks. Yep. Okay, he's earned it. <clears throat> Here's the way I do. Hi, this is Tony Robbins. Um, you know, many of you know me for all the great things I've done, accomplishments, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. I, start, I got introduced to the internet marketing community. And I know what you might be thinking, well, it looks like a bunch of hucksters and scammers. What I found was exactly the opposite. Many of them have no education, um, you know, other than a high school education. It's oftentimes making five or ten million dollars a year with a minimal staff of just a few people 
who, like themselves, are not heavily educated necessarily, and I wanted to model them. Now, I've implemented a lot of these programs in my own business, and frankly, I've completely transformed and changed the way I'm going to be doing business. I, it, so I'd like to introduce you to the money, new Money Masters, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Actually, I mean, that's what it is. Mm -hmm. It's perfect. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So many people right now are suffering, they're frustrated, and the biggest area they got is financial suffering. And that one, that one can be alleviated. But, um, and you know, there have been a couple other personalities that would be great to interview that frankly you don't want to touch just because there's mm -hmm. still enough noise uh, around them. Managing this obviously is just one of those deals. So I think the important lesson here is um, I would certainly look at this as a publicity um, deal too and you may want to have someone kind of create some responses in case this does hit the mainstream, okay. especially once the TV show comes out. Okay. You know, that's where my eyes and mind have been and it was one of the things that I talked to Tony about while we Okay, so that helpful? it's extremely helpful. Alright. Okay, so let's talk about the uh, um, affiliates real fast. You obviously have um, what we're going to call the tier one players, and mm -hmm. uh, and I'll call these the A list. Okay, kind of it's basically the, for lack of a better term, the twelve. So let's say the A list. I don't know what are they at right now. Is it forty percent? Yes. Okay. So we're going to call these the B list. Of course, we won't publicly say this. Okay. And Right. I do have a question about this real fast. Mm -hmm. So when you're talking B-list, are they B-list now because, let's say, all these 20, 30 people that Everyone me. else aside from the people who are the interviewers. Okay. Right? We can call these guys A-team, okay? and then we have B-team. For blah, blah, blah. But it'd basically be, you know, here are the prizes. Okay. Promotion prizes. So you're cool with prizes being related to Tony versus, Hell like, the yeah. guitar, skateboard, and stuff. Shit, yeah. Okay. Because this yeah. is... Easier for us with I know it is. Yeah. I know it is. And Absolutely. it's got lower costs. And I'll tell you what, it's they want the association. Any any time, just remember touching the hem is the greatest prize of all. Okay. okay. So if they got a photo op and some sort of a recognition, it's over with. They'll fight like crazy. I don't think this would ever happen, but if one of our prizes could be you get like a fifteen minute you get to interview Tony for fifteen minutes for your vlog. Could it be uh, <clears throat> Good idea, but the whole thing is you just never know what kind of scumbag, right? Of it, yeah. So you gotta you gotta have stuff that you have, you can manage and control. Yeah. This is mm -hmm. Absolutely. And I definitely I look at anything that that is close to touching the ham as possible. Okay. Mike, while well, you're pulling that up, uh -huh. don't let me forget. I want to ask you about um, women for this. Oh, yes. that was. Do you know Do you know who Marie Forleo is? Uh, no, I never heard of her. Okay. Okay. Um, I have one that I've been cultivating who's appropriate. Um, It'll be something you don't forget as long as you live. And that sounds like hyperbole until you start meeting these guys and these ladies, ladies, ladies. Let's make sure we make this available to the A-listers as well. Try to do double tickets. Do your, do your part, if you can, to hook that up. It'll, again, it'll be really good for loyalty. Okay, uh, tickets to the NBC filming? Yeah, if oh, they want. Got it. I mean, okay. It's easy, but just block to the them tier out. tier one people? To the, to, yeah, okay. tier one. All the, all the money masters. Uh -huh. And uh, it's the F Frank's group, the, it's the syndicate. Mm -hmm. It's basically the mastermind of the, tier, the top tier. Some of them are in, some of them aren't. Okay. But just, uh, again, this would be a big thing for Frank. Just say, hey, Frank, um, we've got a block. you got to let us know who they are. We'll allocate them, but I'll block out like 20 tickets for you. Okay. okay. That'll be a major plug if, if Frank gets to bring that to the guys. Do that. And you call his guys syndicates? The syndicate. The, the syndicate. syndicate. What makes them have so much fun? What makes them have a lifestyle where they're able to play much more than they have to work, and yet they earn five, ten, a hundred times more than the average person out there? <laughs> Seriously, I'd like to see you have some more freedom. This is what my life's about. why this is the magic bullet for their business in video. Mm -hmm. I think, I, because otherwise I think you lose everyone but the, but the people that have serious businesses. But, but for, you know, all those other, you know, the Warrior Forum folks, I think it has to be, you know, this is the magic bullet to get you traffic and to convert that traffic. Mm -hmm. and, 
I think that's where you got to go. Uh -huh. This has to be business in a box. And so making a business in a box, it's not only traffic and it's not only conversion, it's also coaching and it's also make money or make video products. But the fact is it's not a magic bullet, uh, even though we're going to position some of it that way. You know what I mean? We're going to do some shock and awe and uh, we're going to make some bold statements. So I'm thinking I'm going to do this thing for you know 500 bucks or 497 whatever um, or three payments of 197. Now, do you, what's your reaction? Well, what I would like you to consider <laughs> is um, doing it at five thousand dollars. At five thousand dollars, okay? Yeah. Just consider it because um, sort of what we talked about here is, is turning into the magic bullet. Um, you know, I'll tell you this, my, my refund rate at $5,000 was like uh, much, much lower than my refund rate at $2,000. PLF was, you know, 30-ish and PLM was like 18. So basically if I come out and say that this is, I, tur I turn this into a coaching program. And then yeah. it's twenty five hundred bucks. That model, you know, worked over and over and over and I think pretty much every one of the you know, the three million dollar launches followed that model. People will assume this is in a vacuum, they're gonna assume it's gonna be a two thousand dollar course. Of course. And so that you know, the sixth payment is pure gravy, really, yeah. over the two thousand dollar price. This is what a six pay buyer's worth, this is what a three pay buyer's worth. I think it was about 10 or 12 bucks, and we know you bring a heck of a lot more people at 397 versus 777. Yeah, yeah, right. Well, I, I remember you saying something about that, and I'm like, well, it's like free money. <laughs> right. It's free money. Well, this changes things dramatically, because, I, I mean, I'll be honest with you, I was looking to put 400 in my pocket. It's, you know what? Here's the thing. <clears throat> Um, I don't have the affiliate. I mean, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna be relying on Syndicate to hit this thing really, really hard, and I'm gonna go to Mike's affiliate appreciation thing. You know, I've got some work to do to get a lot of affiliates to mail on it, but I think between, if, if all that happened was Syndicate, right? If it was just Syndicate mailing, and and you know, Phil Same, and uh, specifically you, Phil Same. Eben, real important, um, Ryan, Frank, John, you know, just those five guys, that, and, and Johnson. Well, all I'm saying is that those six guys, you know, there's probably a million people in those lists. There's probably 500 people or 750 people that are willing to pay 2,500 bucks, which is a $2 million launch then, right? I think people are going to be expecting this to be expensive, right? Oh, yeah. You, everything you've ever done is expensive. Yeah. And I can definitely see getting 400 people to show up for that price point, just like you did for five grand, right? Yep. But if I could make this into a $2 million launch, man, that would be fucking phenomenal. Pocket a million bucks? Yep. Hmm. And then what I'll do, man, is I'll start a mastermind at $2,000 a month or something like that. Or, you know what I'm saying, do some private coaching for $5,000 a month. Have 10 people, you know, paying me $5,000 a month to be a private coach, and I'll spend an hour with them on the phone each week and or whatever the case is. Something, something. So I'll be able to monetize that. Yeah, you'll have so many opportunities that, you know, it, you know. I guess you know what? I know what's going to happen. <clears throat> I know what's going to happen is it, there's going to be that warrior form blowback. There's going to be that who does Andy Jenkins think he is. There's going to be that, you know, that whole gushmere there and shit like that. Um, that I guess I just have to get over that and not give a shit. Um, dude, I, I, I don't think you have to worry about it. Uh, yeah, so fuck it. So it's just, you know, I am the video boss. You want to be you want to be the video boss? You want to be like a boss? You better uh, you better be prepared to pay the money. That's all. Yeah. 
that's what it boils down to. You want money? Be ready to pay. This is what it's going to be, yada, yada, yada. If you don't like it, don't buy. You know, and the thing is, I just think about this like with the droid. He seems to think that we're evil because he charged a lot of money for our product. Yes. And that's why we're evil. Yeah. Which is like the most ridiculous thing. Because it's not like we're like holding the thumb up at gunpoint and saying, give me your money. Uh-huh. You know, and Andy, I've, in the last 10 minutes here, I started thinking, this call with some obviously heavy editing, it might be a cool thing for me to release to, like, my platinum product launch manager. Because, you know, we want to make sure that the stuff about John is out and, you know, right. Mike You're Long and Salty see. Droid. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There, there'll be a bunch that needs to get out, but don't... I'm going to be in Vegas, too. Okay, cool. All right, well, look, I might drive out. If I do, I'll bring some fun mushrooms. <laughs> oh, great. Because <laughs> I think you probably want to be hallucinating. I'm well, what I want My coaching is the end-all, be-all. I'm not saying that everything I say is the truth. We have to literally step into being the expert right now, even if you made a dollar, because it's perception. You watched your video. With the mute bar, with the mute bar, and I've done this myself. But everyone, this is for your. This is this is advanced stuff right now. It sounds simple, but it's not. It needs to be when words like so. You don't use if I can help you. When I help you discover those kind of things. Like it has to be much more um, positive and hypnotic. When you watch my videos, I started doing this, and it completely transformed my entire like foundation, how people viewed me. I told Brian Williams that he was being apologetic for who he was. When he had that shift, that's when he went on to make $300,000 plus now. Well, it's kidding me. I said, I'm worried about them, about them not getting the results when they follow what I tell them. That's what's coming up. Well, then you're just going to play it safe for the rest of your life. You know, instead of saying, you know, it's a dream of a lifetime. No, no, this is your life. You don't need to say the dream of a lifetime. Just go, you know, I'm here in beautiful Hawaii. It's amazing to be able to travel, but drop in the hat. It's more like you are in that lifestyle. It's not like, do you see where I'm going with that? I'm not saying that everything I say is the truth. I want you to jump barefoot. No one's going to see your feet, but you need to be connected to the ground. It, it sounds a little weird, maybe. You need to connect more to the earth. Like, you need to connect to, like, being aligned. And make sure that your posture, your head is on, like, really straight. Don't lean forward too much. And, and so I want you to, because when you're in, leaning forward, you're in the future. And when you're leaning back too much, you're in the past. So you have to kind of be in that alignment, like confident. Make sure that you're just, you know, just like sitting or standing like someone. And I want you to be barefoot, connecting to the ground, and pretending like your, your feet, like you've got tree, tree roots, like roots from a tree going down from your legs into the earth. Right now, don't talk about that you're still in the job. You don't need to talk about that. So this is the key to my success, is a story. None of this would have happened, because I would have been like everyone else. I don't know why God gave me this, this complete, you know, conviction. You need to be, like, really in your creative right brain right now. So can you ask your right brain if that's, that's okay? I'm the creator of da 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 Pick a name, domain name, then you automatically sound, sound credible. Okay. Do you feel like you're more um, masculine or feminine energy? Definitely masculine. Yeah, you need to get dressed up. So you need to wear a dress. When you're, when you're, um, I'd like you to wear a dress or a skirt. But I see everything, okay? And in the first program, I wasn't very active on the form at all. I'll be honest with you, I just wasn't because I set that up for the members, and I, you know, I go in there and I look at everything, but I don't necessarily respond because it's easy for us to blame others for our lack of success. I know I did in the beginning because I had a mentor, and he was doing really, really well. I uh, generated $13,000 into my business in the second month of being online. So that's kind of how it all started. And then um, I guess to make a long story short, I went on to my first year make a high, well, to make a six-figure income. I, I, I secretly kind of blame him because I think, oh, well, maybe he didn't give me all the secrets. And you are the only person um, who is really going to take, to, to get you to where you want to be. I learned the hard way that I used to listen to people who were not where I was. So they were basically um, being critical of me and even some of my videos in the beginning or maybe, you know, they were just kind of not that supportive and 
they were not making as much money. So if you're listening to people who are negative and who aren't stepping into their leadership and their purpose and they're coming from a space of fear and lack consciousness and blame, then I want you to really be weary of that. Like I said, I see everything. I see what's happening on Twitter. I, I go on the search.com and I see all the tweets. I see everything. I don't choose to tweet every single moment because I'm working on other, uh, I'm adding to the program. Um, you know, there's, there's travel, there's um, creating new concepts. And I'll be honest, my first clients were very negative. And looking back, I wouldn't even take their money right now because I, you don't want to be responsible. And I want to be straight with you and honest with you because I know what it's going to take. I'm not saying that everything I say is the truth. I want you to stay very diligent on who you're being and how positive you are. I see everything that's happening in this community. I know who you are. I see your tweets. I see the forum. I see your videos. Hi, Susie is available. It is not letting me unmute her. Okay. Um, do I have control or do you have control of the... I actually have the attendee list in front of me, um, but it's not letting me take that little microphone off. You may actually have that. No, I don't. I've got Susie's question here, but actually what I'll do is I'm going to wait because I know that um, Mikhail Harrington isn't here. So I'm going to start with Mikhail's question. I'm a little confused. Let me look at this again. So Susie Cheel has a question. Susie from Australia. Hi, Susie. Hope you're doing well. I'm sorry that I can't hear you. Awesome. If, if they could take a magic wand, and um, this is what I'm getting for you, take a magic wand and, 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 and have something turn around or what it is that they want, what they're looking for, I didn't want to be visible. If you've had a breakdown in your business, I learned this today, you can think of it as a learning situation. Don't call it a breakdown. I'm going to even take that out of my vocabulary because it's not a breakdown. It's a learning situation. I look forward to seeing you on the next Q&A, and we'll talk to you real soon. Yeah, I'm already here from Copy Blogger. And the shamelessly arrogant title for this video is The Secret to Becoming a Popular Blogger. If you've been blogging for long, you've probably noticed that there are certain bloggers who seem almost predestined to build a popular blog. People like Brian Clark and Leo Babauta and Naomi Dunford. People who become a celebrity in their niche, it seems like almost overnight. And I want to tell you why. Because if you've been watching them, you're probably wondering, what are they doing that I'm not? Why does it seem so easy for them and it's so hard for me? And the answer is it's all about being inside the inner circle. Is you got to form this type of syndicate. Right? You see, in every niche you'll find a group of leaders and gurus and insiders who have their fingers in everything. Sometimes it's official where you have like a coalition of leaders, but a lot of times it's unofficial. Just a bunch of guys who hang out together and make things happen. Everyone listens to their opinion. Everyone buys their products. Everyone watches to see what they're going to do next. And if you want to succeed at starting a blog in their niche, it's essential that you get their attention. One of the greatest myths in blogging is that you can build a popular blog all by yourself. Because if anything, the opposite is true. Popular bloggers aren't self-made. They're appointed. The leaders in your niche watch what you're doing, and if they like it, then everything becomes a lot easier. You release a free report, and they all link to it for you, sending you a massive amount of traffic. Or you decide to make a post go viral on Twitter, and they all tweet it for you, getting you thousands of retweets. And then Google notices all of this activity, and decides, hey, if all of these guys are talking about you, you must be an authority. So let me give you a first page ranking. It seems like magic from the outside, but really it's just a matter of having the right connections. You ever notice that all the people in the internet marketing world are promoting each other? I mean, it's, we're not psychic, you know. It's not like, oh, I suddenly realize that he's having a lunch today. I have to mail it. We all work together. All the top people work together. You have to stop the people and you have to stop the cartels. Hopefully I'll be covering people from the syndicate getting arrested and if there are a few trials of these big name guys who thousands and thousands of would-be scammers are looking up to, that would change sort of the face of internet marketing, I think. Hope is an evil, profane word in business. You need to not hope that your product's going to come out and you'll have success. 
You need to engineer your success. This is your time. This is your year. This is your life. And by God, this is your mission. You can make a difference, and I'm inviting you to succeed. To commit right now.